Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to have Excel items in the CK. Uh, this is for Leonardo on the Discord. Um, so basically we just got to sell here. Uh, I believe he was trying to do it with the Riverwood Trader. So let's see if we can go there. Try to do it there. Load up the trader cell. Yeah, I do believe this is where he was trying to. No, this ain't the place, is it? Uh, maybe that's not it. It's a different Riverwood place. He said it was a Riverwood trader. But anyhow, I'm going to show you how to have it settled things. But I'm going to do it in my own cell. So basically... Um, we'll do some crates, some static crates. Come on. Okay, uh, that's a shitty crate. There we go. We'll do one there. We'll do one there. Now what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to move it around, make it funky looking so it, you'll see, like a balance, like a balancing act. I'm going to leave it just like that, okay? Um, now this one we want to go here. Don't have Excel. Add the script. It's going to take a second for the scripts to load up, guys. How's the stream? Let me know in the chat. The stream's coming in clear. You guys can hear my voice. Come on, scripts. <clears throat> Four viewers, thank you very much, guys. Checking out the Havoc settling. <laughs> My next series is going to be Black Magic, Spells of the Wicked. Uh, another guy on Reddit wants to see some Black Magic spells, Black Fire, and stuff like that, so I'm going to try to give that a shot. Come on, scripts. So basically, you just place your stuff in here. Uh, right click on the actual object in the reference window, not in the object window. Uh, so you can edit the reference rather than the base object. And you add the script to the reference. And check don't have Excel. Come on, scripts. There we go. Okay, so what I do is just type havoc there, default, disable havoc on load. Okay. And then you set the two first properties havoc on activate. Keep it false. Havoc on hit. Keep it false. If you check this, it'll change it to true, so you don't want to check those. Keep them false. You don't have to um So basically if you want to link 
these two together to move together like when you hit this box this box move with it you can link the two references together but I'm not going to do that right now I'm just showing you how to settle them and then we'll go ahead and edit this one and do the same thing I can't see my messages in my chat I wonder how come and we're gonna add the havoc disable havoc on load same thing first two properties keep them to false okay okay file save push to PC okay I see you now I had to reload you check the don't havoc on settle option yeah but you also have to add the script like I just did now I'm gonna go ahead and show you in the game that that crates gonna be leaning Oh, the volume's loud on my game, guy. Alright, I have to COC to the cell because... I didn't put a, uh, oh, can I even CLC that? Yeah, I can. I didn't put a CLC marker, though. Next time, you might want to get it. dressed before leaving the house. Havoc settled. No collision. You can't, uh, Be careful. they're not going to move. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that helped you out. Um, basically that's how you do it. You can put stuff anywhere. You can put stuff in the sky. You can do whatever you want. You can put stuff everywhere. I'm just gonna delete that out of my mod. Little preview for you, dude, Leonardo. Check this out. It's the mod I'm dropping later. It's called a house in a jar. Custom player home. Viable upgrades. Custom meshes everywhere. Um, I've got a jar that I made with a house in it. Can't mess with that. But yeah, I'm uh doing the finishing touches on that later and I'm gonna post that up. But uh that's pretty much it. That's how you have a set of items. Um I hope you learned what you need to know, Leonardo. I appreciate it if you hit the sub button. Come through, check out my mods. Uh, go ahead and have a look at my other mods on my channel as well. Quite a few. You might find fancy to a few of them. But uh, what I'm going to do is... Let's see if there's anything else I could show you about Havoc settling. Um, let me try a little something else here. Let's try something different. Let's... Let's do the floating box. And I'll just show you that it works. I thought you were saying you have, you were having problems with the, um... oh, you did it? Nice. Did it work, Leonardo? Let me know if it worked, buddy. Oh, you subbed, you mean. Cool, thank you.
uh, hit that notification bell as well. You'll know when I upload all my mods and shit. Um, so let's do this again. Okay. But this time, we're going to put it right there. Okay. And this comes right off Doc Fox's channel. Um, everything I've learned is from him and uh, another guy. But he's the man. Okay. So let's have it settled mid air. Let's see if this will work. Nah, it'll definitely work for you, Leonardo. It's. kind of dummy proof you can make it so it can have collision or you can make it so you know you, you could play with that a little you could change those settings like I said you could link it to another object have them both move at the same time I'm actually getting really deep into the scripting stuff and I'll start writing my own scripts pretty soon I've already wrote quite a few Got the um, the gold respawning uh, with a cap, with and without a cap. Yeah, there you have it, dude. Havoc settled. Sneak right under that Next thing. Next time, you might want to get dressed before right. leaving the house. Can't sneak under there, but you get what I'm saying. So that's Havoc settling in a nutshell. If you guys learned anything from this little tutorial, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and end this stream so I can set up for my episode 6 of The House in a Jar. Where I will be fixing little things, uh, making it possible for followers to visit the cell. Um, maybe as well as add a few clutter, cluttered things, I'm not sure. It's pretty much ready for posting. So what I'm going to do is just check out everything, make sure there's no bugs. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to post to the Nexus and Bethesda. Um, I have a pretty common practice for both. Makes it pretty simple. So if you're interested in that, come through. And we'll see you guys soon. Thank you, Leonardo, for the sub. I appreciate it. I hope you get your mod working. Uh, let me know how you make out in the Discord or in the comment on this video. And anybody that came through just now, check me out. I appreciate it. Thank you.